come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. We're a cult and exploitation movie podcast, kind of, that comes your sure, way sure. Sure. every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not. And we're very aware that this is a very special Saturday. Because it's Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Christmas everyone. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Some of you are listening to this on Christmas. So yeah. How God magical. bless you. That's right. What a gift for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you guys get anything good this Christmas? Hmm. I hope. I, I mean, I did. Yeah, I totally did. Sure. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah I mean, definitely anything, did. You know what? Anything is good. I'm <laughs> yeah. thankful for if anything. You, if you thought of me, that's a gift. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, there you go. We should probably tell you who these people are who are talking to you. We call them the Internet Radio Superstars. Michaela. Sean. Holly. And I'm Colin. I mean, you can't really prove that we aren't. And (laughs) (laughs) Wow. (laughs) True. Yeah. 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 And I suppose also uh, we should say if you like what you hear here, then you can go over to wherever you found us. and uh, (laughs) Give us a like or subscribe. uh, You know, that all that stuff helps us get found by other like minded folks like you and helps us become the Mm -hmm. fastest growing uh, movie podcast (laughs) in the galaxy. Tonight, we watched the movie that was chosen by Colin. Colin, it's train month on the freak show. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. Thanks for thanks for sticking around for train month, guys. Yeah. yeah. So in our this theme month, what did we watch? Yeah, we're tonight? all very inspired by the Polar Express. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, hey, if, we, if hey. we're not gonna watch that every other train you, movie. You know what? Hot take, that movie sucks. It does suck. I don't That I, movie's you know terrible. What? All right, I can't say that. I've never seen it. I don't want to, but I'm sure. You don't you're good. You know, it's you're boring. Good. Oh, that it's, movie. Boring. it's a thirty page book stretched into like a two hour yeah. movie. Yeah, but it's it's uh the way I saw it, it was uh, IMAX. I saw like, that too. And so it's a ride. Movie. Is it spectacle? Okay. Is it? Yeah. yeah. So now there's if, like a little bit those, of plot, and then like you go on roller coasters. It's, I, I want the seats in 3D. To move me, it's you know? it's yeah. when Zemeckis was like testing out all the new technology. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a movie yeah. to test out technology, yeah. and it's even it, his Christmas Carol is a ride. Movie yeah. If you yeah. Watch yeah. It. That's all he does is he makes movies to test the out was, technology. The book was better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the children's book was yeah. the book Night Train to Terror better than the movie. There was no book called Night Train to Terror, but we are watching Night Train. To Terror, Direct not Night by. Train, The Drink, and not Terror Train, the movie that we watched a couple weeks ago, mm. but it is train month, as you said, <laughs> Night Train, To Terror. To Terror. Okay. Direct to Terror. Um, okay, well, we're going to say that this movie <laughs> okay. was... All right, wow. all right, all right. But we can't even answer the first question. Go. Okay. No. Uh, He's got a point. There was so a there, lot of there's it. a producer, and his name is Jay Schlossberg Cohen, who did the wraparound sequences and performed the edit on this movie. Okay, I have to ask, mm. since we have seen Spookies a couple times on this podcast, that's right. <laughs> I got a certain vibe from this movie. What kind of vibe did you get? I got a vibe that said that somebody found this movie or found this footage and decided to edit it together, or. There were two movies that decided to get edited together. Or, like you said, there was a producer who did the edit on this. Did they find this? Was this abandoned? It's got Richard Mole in it. Was so this it was on purpose? Something. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How did we get here, Colin? Okay. Whose fault was this? All right. Yeah. Well, I got to start. So it's from the year 1985. That's when it's released. Good year. Um, mm-hmm. This movie, How the Genesis. Okay. So there's a, a writer uh, named uh, Philip... Jordan, right? Okay. This guy was an Academy Award winning screenwriter in the 1940s. He had written, he won an Oscar for a movie called Detective Story. That's um, a good movie. <clears throat> he had also written Dillinger, Johnny Guitar, The Naked Jungle, The Fall of Rome, and Empire. Later on, he did uh, a movie that I like a lot called The Unholy with Ben Cross. <clears throat> Detective Story had Kirk Douglas in it, didn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's a good movie. Won an Oscar. I, I'm won sorry, Oscar. you said Naked Jungle? Was that yes. a title? No, I'm, Naked that, I'm hung up on that one. I'm still I'm still back there. <laughs> yeah. So it's something I'm going to have to look into. Well, he also uncredited writer on uh, Horror Express, which is another train, train movie. movie yeah. uh, is, that, probably, is that what we're going to watch next week? Uh, Horror Express, I mean, the wrap-up train month? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Coming soon. Us. Um so anyway, so he, so uh, Philip Jordan had he had written a bunch of movies in the 1940s, 50s, 60s, 70s, all that. Uh, I guess he was a front for blacklisted writers that would get blacklisted, like Trumbo and shit. Yes. Okay. And so he would write movies under his name, but it was well, sorry, he didn't write them; no. they did, and were able to get them produced. Yes. And in the by the time you get to the 70s and the 80s, he's into B movies, as you know, everybody does like later in their career. Mm-hmm. And so he wrote three movies that were well, one of them was never finished. 
Mm. Uh, and two of them were released under different titles. Okay. So we'll, we'll talk about those as we go uh. forward. But you are looking at three movies, right, that didn't really get dis- distribution, so they chopped them up oh. and made it an anthology movie there out of it. There it is. Yeah. And, that would be... And, and Cohen went, and he, as the producer, because I think he had actually... He was producer on maybe all three of them. Okay. And so he helped shape and, you know, did the wraparound and created Night Train to Terror. <laughs> that would explain why one of the special features on this uh, Blu-ray is the full feature of Greta. Right. There's a what? Which Greta, is the second story. Yeah. Right. So apparently the second story is a full feature on this desk. Well, oh, my God. Okay, so the... the See, I don't know if I should tell you the titles now. It won't, won't matter. As we get into them, I'll tell you, <laughs> yeah, like, the, yeah. you know, what they were prior. Okay. But, so, Night Train to Terror is this thing... I, I mean, basically, I think it maybe sh- showed theatrically somewhere, you know, in, like, grindhouses and drive-ins, and then it was mostly discovered on home video in the 80s. This is great, because it's like that scene in uh, Wolf of Wall Street, I think it is, where... um who's the chef anthony bourdain is describing what they do with the fish yeah, yeah, yeah like this is weak old fish yeah but if we chop it up and put it all together we got fish stew. Uh, we got a new movie we got yeah. new bam love yeah. it yeah. Yeah. yeah but i chose it for you tonight because uh yeah a it reminded me of spooky spooky's yes. infamously was two movies that were just kind of compressed together mm-hmm. and you can tell and you can tell <laughs> <laughs> and uh so that kind of you know and the, the effects work and that kind of yeah, stuff yeah um but also it kind of this movie blew my mind the first time i watched it because i think i said on last week's episode it played to me like uh, it was like i couldn't tell what was going on it's like a movie trailer that never stops. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yep. If nothing else, for that first 45 minutes, it's just, it's constant, and we're on to the next one after five minutes. Just yeah. Like, Chaotic energy, and then, like, the intense trailer music over every scene mm-hmm. as well. Like, yes, indeed. Okay, so we got to talk about that, I guess. Uh, oh, oh, you're talking about the orchestral. Yeah, the Yeah, stings, the orchestral the score. Stings, like, like, it is It is like a horror trailer for, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, the first 45 minutes. Yeah. Yes. But there's another musical uh, uh, act going on here because yeah. this is the year of uh, when did when did Thriller come out? That was like '83. So like, you know, I mean, like, well, we, breakdancing is also hot at this time, Colin. Damn right. Yeah. When did breaking come out? I think was it was '84, like '85. Hot, yeah. hot oh, in yeah. the streets. Yeah. Breaking and Breaking Two both came out the same year. Remember, famously, they were like nine months apart. And That's released. right. They were yeah. shot back <laughs> to yeah, back. I forgot about that. We covered those on our uh, Summer of Canon. That's right. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. 2017, 2018, I think those are... I think the, our episodes are farther apart than, than the movies were in release date. Mm-hmm. Probably. <laughs> so, uh, but you 1982 may, was Thriller. You may be asking why in the hell we're talking about breakdancing when we're about to tell you about a movie called Night Train to Terror. You expect a couple of things from that title. A, that it's going to be night. At uh, nighttime. Yep. B, a slasher on a train. Maybe. Because the, the poster art, which I remember from the video store, is a bloody butcher knife shoved mm-hmm. down into a railroad track in a mm-hmm. dark and stormy night. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and you're pro- and listeners are probably thinking, you just did Terror Train. Why are you going to talk about that? Oh, oh, <laughs> just, just you wait, just you wait, listener. <laughs> right, um, Not all trains are made the same. Okay, so uh, the the setup of the the ra- the wraparound segment of this movie is like a thing unto itself. It mm. might be the most insane part. <laughs> it might be. This is this premise is. Not what I expected at all Not from at this all. movie. No. Okay, so if you have three movies and you're going to kind of cut them down, like 90-minute movies that you're going to chop down to like a half hour each, how are you going to tie all this together? Because like they have nothing to do with each other. Yeah. Well, the first thing we see in this movie is like an 80s breakdance music video happening on a train. And the costuming is very similar to break in, just like pile yeah, every yes. accessory yeah. on, put on as many shirts as you can physically wear at one time. Chains, layers, one glove like, on one hand. It's like layers, but they're all ripped. Yeah, yes. there's cut layers so and cutouts. So you can outs. see every layer. Yeah, yeah. 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 pastel. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the big big yeah, hair money, on the yeah. girls, like warmers and yeah. headbands and yeah, yeah. sweatbands. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the sweatshirt off the shoulder. Yeah, yeah. it was a lot in here. Yeah. But it's like. It's not. It's not even that simple. Like that would be one layer, but then there'd be like three other shirts on top of that, right. and yeah, every accessory at once. Just fall into your closet and wear whatever falls on. <laughs> right. You. I love this yeah. stuff. <laughs> this is a song called I think uh, every, everybody. Wait, what is it? Dance uh, every, with me. 
I think that's the refrain. So it's uh, the, everybody's the credits, got something to do. The credit said that was you. the title. The credit said everybody's got something to do. There that makes go. sense. Okay. Yeah. Because you're gonna you're gonna know and you're gonna love this phrase and these lyrics by the time well at least this movie is over because god damn it you're gonna hear this in between every single story it's amazing I couldn't the first time I watched this I was <laughs> like, like oh we're back this is the same fucking song they yes. just cut into it it's the same <laughs> footage right every time it's yeah. the same footage yeah. it's like so, they yeah, shot one is. music video yeah. and they just intersperse it at random yep. you know like after every mm-hmm. uh, episode. Here we go again. Which, and when we say music video, like they're looking into the camera and pointing there's, at there's the camera. There's choreography. Oh, yeah. It's for us. Yeah. 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 But it's like I said during the movie, it's nice to get a rock and roll break every yeah. now and again <laughs> with so, a dope song. Sean, when you say that, it makes me think you like variety shows because you like a music break in your content. Mm. No. Yeah. Well, I mean, you did call it, you know, it's like a rock break, you know, every once in a while it comes mm. in. So the song. Yeah, you were pretty accurate. Like, it's time for a rock break. And yeah, I it it was a rock break. Yes. We did indeed have feel rock it. Break. I could feel this movie yeah. by the time. We well, I had it. to do some research because I'm like, who in the, who is this? And mm. so the song is sung by a guy, guy named Joe Toronto. And, uh, well, I don't think he, so his biggest claim to fame, mm-hmm. right, was he was a singer on the Little Mermaid. <laughs> what? Not like any of the you know principal he's characters. Like he was just like a background vocals. singer. Yeah. Oh. But he's also he's like a big girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's wow, a jazz wow. uh, <laughs> a jazz composer. Jay, he does. Oh. He's got a website and all this other stuff. <laughs> he's got a website. That's how you know he's legit. <laughs> yeah. He's got oh, a website. A, he moved to Milwaukee. He's oh, you're saying we there. could drive and go meet this yes, guy? Yes. Yep. <laughs> you can't get a hold of him on Facebook anymore. He's on because yeah, okay. you've tried. You know this because you've tried. It gone. says on his website he's given updates on his. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> so Joe Toronto, <laughs> right, made this song. And apparently he did like three other songs in the movie, which I don't remember ever okay. hearing. No. But he's not the singer. The singer, oh, sorry, it's, he sang the real actual recording. Right. But the break dancer who we see lip syncing mm-hmm. to the song is Byron Jordan, who the would be the son. Or the son of the writer? Of the guy who wrote the movie. Okay. Nepotism yeah. strikes again. Because yeah. he yeah. was a break dancer. And so Interesting. They're just like, <laughs> Not a good one. <laughs> okay, I know I know we've had this debate before about how we don't know what good break That's dancing very is. True. Very true. But I feel pretty confident saying this is not it. I They show him in slow motion, I'm, Michaela, doing the do. But here's the thing. Twirls. If you're showing something in slow motion, it's because it doesn't look good at regular speed. Because you'd miss the fact that he like flipped his yeah, entire like torso they without they touching they couldn't the ground. Capture him A lot of film. skateboarders and quad skaters I know will shoot their tricks in slow motion because it looks way more impressive than it does at normal speed. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. looks like you're going higher and your jump is cleaner if you slow it down. So there we go. I'm just I like, I'm like the these rules. are camera tricks for break dancing. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather not watch it at regular speed. I don't feel like he was going <laughs> too fast. I think speed has something to do with how good it is. I don't know. Well, and most... like the transitions between the tricks, right? Yes. Like you want those smooth kind of and like yeah, you, don't very see, jerky. Right, like you don't want to see him good. thinking no. about it. They just no. got to do it. Yeah. What it comes down to, I th- it's not that he's a bad break dancer for an amateur. Yeah, but this is a movie, so yeah. it should be like a professional. Yeah, I don't right? think he did like anything else. I mean, like he was a break dancer, not like an actor, so it didn't do anything else in yeah. uh, in movies. Um, I mean, I didn't see him in Breaking, so he clearly is not right? that good. That's right. You know? Yes. Yeah. He wasn't next to Van Damme, right? That's very true. <laughs> yeah. um, but um, so, <laughs> I mean, the uh, I'm still hung up on the fact that like instead of a uh, like a guitar solo in the song they have a breakdancing solo oh, yeah. so he can actually okay sure. yeah. so that's what you're we happen. are all of not even two minutes into this movie yeah yeah it's very true and, and and the other thing i love about this is that because we're hearing the same song uh in between every segment there is actually a point where he's like and from the top, and they do the whole song again. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know. And did we ever, are they rehearsing? Like, we never establish what's actually happening. To us, it looks like a music video, but they never establish what's going on. Yeah, right? because this is the most bizarre thing in yeah. the world because it's like both reality and a music video. At some point, there are band members outside the windows talking into the characters who are yep. inside they are on top of the train because it's a music video they're on yep. top of the train right. with the smoke blowing past them there is a line of dialogue that says oh man i wish our bus didn't break down and you know yeah yep okay but, but this train's so, awesome i don't care 
I mean, we haven't we haven't established like what the wraparound premise mm-hmm. is yet. Should we establish that yes. first before I tell you what my theory is? Mm-hmm. Give us the wraparound premise. Right. So they're obviously, on a train, but who else yeah, is on? The they're train? on this train, um, but this train is also occupied by Satan. I'm sorry, Mister Satan. Mister Satan. Mister Satan. Mister Satan. Satan. Put some respect on his name. Yeah. I know. I'm sorry, <laughs> Mister Satan and God Himself, who are arguing. Or I'm sorry, negotiating over souls. Mm-hmm. Yep. They're playing on the, the train. game. Yes. But the train is going through space. Possibly. Obviously. It sure looks that way. Cause, wait, we do, it do is. Because the end, remember that last shot of the train? Before oh, yeah, the crash well, roll? Well, that's later. It's a space train. Because it's on. Oh, it's, and that's after it's crashed. Yeah. Because oh. we do see but shots you see of. The, see stars out the window. You do. I'm like, like is it snowing? Space. Yeah. Like, yeah out their cabin, they see stars. But the yeah. rest mm-hmm. of them. So there's a band. They're right. on a train. And they're going to crash in the morning at dawn. It's yeah. predetermined mm-hmm. that they're going to mm-hmm. they're going to mm-hmm. die. And God and the devil are therefore on the train, mm-hmm. negotiating over who, which way they go. These people the and musicians. the train. God calls it the Heavenly Express, yeah. but Satan calls it Satan's Cannonball. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'd rather be on Satan's Cannonball. Satan's sounds, Cannonball. That's a great way fair cooler. Ride. Yeah, it sounds way cooler. Yeah. Yeah. I love the sinister night porter who delivers that information. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Could be the Heavenly Express. Or Satan's mm. cannonball. Look directly in the camera. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall. Yeah. Mm. It's great. So um, I think, because they said their bus broke down. I think their bus crashed. So they would be on they're, the train? They're beyond, they're are like the, they're on their way, right? This is like purgatory. This is where they're like deciding. So, okay. So the train crash Satan. isn't, that's just our decision point. That's just where we have to, that's right. our time limit. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, so then just, why would it need to crash at dawn? Because that's well, when the decision has to be made. Yeah, okay. Satan yeah. clearly is short a couple dozen souls for his quota, right? So yeah. he makes his bus crash to pick up a, he, and like, right. cause he even says he's like, musicians are always coming to hell. So he knows it's a sure thing. Right. Yeah. So. Can you imagine Satan just being like, well, there's like five innocent people on that bus, but I need 12, so yeah. boop, God's it ne- off the road. Guys never le- going to let me hear the end of it. I don't bring enough souls this time. Yeah. So, Did you recognize either Satan or God? They look, they look familiar. They both look familiar. Yeah. But I don't yeah. know them. Okay, well, what his name. Names? So Satan is played by Tony Giorgio, who you would all recognize as Bruno, T- Bruno Tataglia. In The Godfather. Whoa, okay. holy shit. There we go. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. Okay. But I looked into him, his history, and so this guy is a kind of a this wild guy should cat. play Dracula. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He looks like Dracula. He looks yeah. like he'd be In a this good movie, Dracula. he straight up looks like Dracula. I don't think he actually ever played Dracula. Oh, However, would it surprise you if I told you in real life he is a magician? I thought you were going to say, is a Dracula. <laughs> He's a magician? I So many. Why is the magic. magician? Uh, why are magicians such a thing lately? Okay. We Trains we, and, magi- and magicians. Yeah, yeah. and magicians. Yeah. Yeah. That was talking. why, because the terror train now and David talking. Copperfield. Yeah. But aside from that, he is also like a, a card player, like a, um, I don't know, confidence man, whatever. He became the um, like lead um, gambling consultant or something for the Playboy Club. Well, the Playboy Clubs oh. are around, and like okay. yeah. he was like the main guy who could tell you like if somebody was you know yeah. screwing He's with them. He was, them and, or, he was yeah, like yeah. the pit boss. Yeah, uh, it sounded like he was higher than that. I don't know. Yeah. He was like a yeah. What a life. So yeah, watching the cameras going. Watch that guy. Watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's he knew. Good. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And he, I looked He's up. An He's an integral got like part a, of the Oceans movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he really is. Maybe they're based on him. Uh, God is played by uh, Ferdy Main. Uh, Ferdy oh. Main was also in uh, Roman Polanski's uh, The Fearless Vampire Killers, or Pardon Me, But My Teeth Are in Your Neck. That's the full title. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, he it's was like also in album. The Vampire Lovers. You may remember him from Conan the Destroyer. He was also in Frightmare, which has to come to this show at some <laughs> point, and Howling 2. So he's he's made the rounds okay. in, the, in the B-movie horror uh, yes. uh, circle. Um but on in the actual credits of the movie, God <laughs> is, uh, or sorry, Satan is played by Lewis Cipher. Yeah, Lou Cipher. Mm-hmm. And God is played by... God himself. There you go. Mm-hmm. That's it. Which is, I'm like, stick with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I like the commitment. Who knows about the whatever legal complications of putting all three movies. Just, yeah, he's God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it. It's like, what What are you going to do? Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. so, the, so they're going to, while we're waiting for this train crash to happen... They're going to argue over whether or not these souls should go to heaven or go to hell. And so our first case is who? 
I'm trying Harry. to remember because so much happened. In this movie. <laughs> Harry. <laughs> okay, so who's Harry? So it's the case of Harry okay. Styles or whatever it's the fuck. Harry, Harry Styles. I don't Styles. remember what? his last. I don't Definitely know. not Harry Styles. Yeah. <laughs> These were more chaotic at the beginning, and as they went on, they kind of got more narratively sound. I guess you. I guess you could say because that first one really feels like they just hacked this shit yes, out of some movie. This one feels the most hacked together because yeah. it jumps around so much. Mm. And it wasn't ever finished. This is the okay. one that never was finished. So this, this one makes sense. was uh, this originally makes sense. titled Scream Your Head Off, <laughs> okay. and it was also known as Marilyn Alive and Behind Bars. Wow. That sounds like a women in prison movie. Yeah, yep. it does. And that's not what the, this is. No, nope. so well, yeah. Wait, yeah. isn't this the one? I mean, it kind of is. It's a mental institute. And it was right, right, but it's naked women in these rooms. It's, yeah. it's that... Yeah, close to but it. I think those might be reshoots because if you notice, and I'm going to give this away for the folks who are, are coming into this, but Richard Mall is in this. Sorry, this movie was made in 1981. This is, I think, okay. the oldest of them. Uh, Richard Mall is in the movie as like an orderly at a mental institution, but he is seen in a lot of the nude scenes where you have these women strapped down to tables, but that's clearly a double because that guy so is like hairy. a werewolf. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I thought that might be where the movie was going. I was like, are they trying to like telegraph that he's like tr transforming into a werewolf right now? No, that's just what that guy looks like. No yeah. shame, but it he needs a. It felt like it was leading to something and it didn't. So. Yeah, very hair astute because you're coming out of the 70s when yeah. you wanted to be hairy. Yeah. With this was excessive. Gold chains. Mm. Hung down six, six, six sixes. Yeah. Yep. Your disco. Your taco meat going yeah. up here. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so what's going on in the case of Harry? Uh, why, why did, why are they arguing over Harry? What, what's Harry's deal? This is going to be, I'm going to be grasping the shit. I, yeah. This I was one, like, this felt like it happened days ago happened? when I watched okay, it. I'm okay. I'm going to read so, it back. Yeah. All right, let me, I may have this one too, Holly. Okay. Hit it's me. a dense movie. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Holly, no. with Holly's glasses it's almost like she's like alright yeah. <laughs> she's like the guy with the magnifying glass right. and the she's got a laser act. pointer yeah. and a stick yeah. going alright here we are I so think. It's, well for starters mm -hmm. Harry is played by John Philip Law who yes. we of course remember as Diabolic in Danger Diabolic okay. uh, were you yes, here I was I not that's like one of the ones I, no, I, I wish I hadn't missed oh yeah uh, he was also in Barbarella, but okay. okay. So it, yeah, it took me a minute. I was like, how did that one start? But I remember now. Okay. That one starts, he gets into a car accident with, with his right. wife. And she right, ends up he's dying. driving erratically in the very he's, squished frame. Yeah. Now I remember. Apparently on their wedding night, she's wearing like a wedding dress and a veil. You're and driving like a maniac. He's driving erratically. He's been drinking and their car goes over a bridge <laughs> into a river with a great... Yeah. A, a great split scene there with two different rivers. Yeah, and well, um, it was it went into a river. We cut to an ocean. Like <laughs> that's, that's what it is. That's, that's what it is. Of an ocean. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, two different bodies of water. <laughs> it was great. Um, so she ends up dying, and he ends up going to this weird mental institution mm. where I guess he's recovering from his injuries from the accident, even though he doesn't really seem to have any. Um, but mentally she, scarred, maybe. mentally yeah, scarred. Yeah, yeah. he gets electroshock therapy. Yeah, I never like seeing that in a movie. No, nope, don't like it. Only because I know they did it so much on regular people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and like it has like no proven benefit too. It's basically just torture. Like knowing that like we did yeah. that to people with little to no benefit. It's hard for the yeah. amount of pain and suffering. Yeah, yeah it caused. Yeah, and then it just makes you think of requiem for a dream, and, and one flew down, over and, the know. cuckoo's yeah, nest. That's, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's just never pleasant. No, just if you're thinking about putting it in your movie. Don't. <laughs> you could pass on yeah. that. Yeah. Well, who runs the mental institution? Uh, Dr. Yeah, evil doctor. Fargo. 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 No, 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 no. That's she's the last not, one. Yeah, she's not the evil doctor. Oh, no, I thought she was in the first one, too. It's it's she is, but is the... She, she introduces, introduces herself doctors. in there's the first two doctors. one. Dr. Yeah. Fargo is in the first one, yeah, for sure. She is. She is. Yeah. There's she two doctors. Doesn't run, she doesn't run the asylum. It's it's the surgeon. Okay. Yeah. The surgeon, and I don't remember his name I don't remember it either. And then Richard Mall is the orderly, like, orderly yeah. who helps the, the, very the surgeon. The Rob Zombie in this movie. He's yeah, he's, sure he's the it. very rapey serial killer orderly. Well, if, if anybody's seen the uh, director's cut of Rob Zombie's Halloween remake... He has an or like a pair of orderlies. I think Jeff Daniel Phillips is one of them or something that come in and rape the women at the mm -hmm. mental institution. And that's how Michael yeah, Myers Luke gets temples. out. Yeah. Temples. Yeah. 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 And that, but that's yeah. only in the director's cut. Yeah. Thank God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what's again, not necessary. Yeah. <laughs> so Harry has been in an accident. He's right. been transported to the hospital. Right. I remember drugs. Yeah. I remember. It's like, yeah. Did they try to turn him into an agent yeah, for them? Well, now, and he's supposed now to go around. Yes. yes. Now that he's there, 
uh, Dr. Fargo is give, is giving him injections. She yes. says she's like healing him, but really she's like brainwashing. Yeah, him. she's like, I'm just trying to cure you, and yeah. we're like, what's wrong with him? Yeah, but, cure him yeah. what? Yeah, and we don't know if this is editing or plot. Yeah, right. Well, but later she yeah. does say something, or he says at some at a, turn, a crucial point in the narrative. I'm gonna maybe I should put that in quotes in the narrative <laughs> that uh, I didn't term. take the shot last night, doctor. And or you don't the shot have, wore off. Yeah, yeah. And you uh, don't have the effect on me. Oh, right. You yeah. can't control yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. So she's so, giving him regular doses that are like keeping him under her control. Okay. And while so, he's under the control, he's going out and helping to bring in new new patients, specifically blonde women. Yeah. Well, it starts out, it seems like that way that he's going in, uh, cause he's a handsome man and like sure. he can pick up women at church. But, and, but well, I mean, <laughs> is that a special skill? <laughs> is I mean, it? you say that, but he's also slipping stuff in their drinks. That's, that's right. That's so, the thing. Yes. There the, is, he's slipping things in the, uh, in the, in the, the communion and the communions in there. <laughs> yes. Christ's blood is full of drugs. But the cut from the mental that. institution to the church is so quick and we don't know. And what's it has happening. no context None for why we're well, seeing this. No, 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 no. Because if you remember, we're helped out by the ubiquitous narrator who sounds ah, like yes, the narrator. Like Harry. You gotta was, have one. Yeah. Because he the narrator is employed to explain shit that otherwise we're like yeah. i don't e you're the narrator is basically like i know you're lost and here's why <laughs> yeah <laughs> i bet you're wondering how we ended up here well <laughs> yeah that's I mean, me here's yeah. a twist i bet you're wondering how well, i got in i this loved it in the second episode the narrator really did uh like fill in like a, an abrupt like a left turn and a twist that no one saw coming <laughs> right it's just like oh no <laughs> our narrator's announcing it but we'll get to that okay so uh so harry's going out and he He's meeting these women, bringing them back apparently to the asylum where all we see, I mean, it's like it's either Richard Mall strapping them down naked yep. to tables and then possibly sawing body parts up. I think maybe it, that, that. that reveals itself as time goes on, because at first you're just like, what in the fuck is happening? There's mm -hmm. just all these naked women coming in and then. Uh, we cut to a new scene where Harry's going out and procuring another one. Yeah. Yes. Um, but eventually we find out, yeah, that Richard Mall is sawing them up. And then we get the the, yeah. the shot of the uh, souvenir room, the refrigerator <laughs> where they have all the, the corpse parts, legs and arms and heads on a shelf. Yeah. And in jars, yep. in yeah. jars with yes. the names on the jars. With I like that. Touch. <laughs> it's nice. But it's the narrator who actually tells us what's going on, right? right. Harvesting parts to sell to medical schools across yes. the, across the world. Yeah, because yeah. we do see some shipping happening, right, with crates and stuff <laughs> like that. There is shipping and there handling is shipping in, this in this movie. movie. Yeah. 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 Yes. You are right. Which, is that a thing? Like, do medical schools really, like, just, like, pay, like, go to hospitals and be like, hey, we'll pay you a bunch for spare parts? Like, I don't think it's done that way anymore. I was yeah. going to say, no, there are, there are uh, places that, you know, but I mean, they're, you know, you, you, they're more above board certified and all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, but I'm sure back at this time, it was a little hazy. Right, I'll bet. Yeah. Can, yeah. Wait, it's not that long ago. It's not like you're talking about like the 20s or something like that. We're in the 1980s. Well, I'm just saying there's a pair, we got to this point because of, um, who was it that stole the bodies? Burke and Hare. Burke and Hare, yeah. Because yeah. of Burke and Hare and stuff like yeah. that. Like I'm, yeah. In London I'm the, in like the yeah, 1850s. I think it still continued on today. I don't think we got really above board until probably recently. I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah, I, but it feels yeah. like it's well, a sh in still, an area well, where yeah. there's shady. You still right. shadiness can happen. There was like that big scandal about that place that had... The, the museum? <laughs> I was just going to say the Plastination Museum exhibit. No, so, but I heard about that one yeah. too. But there was like a morgue. Didn't they where, find like, a guy with like 35 in his truck or something like that? They had a whole bunch of corpses all over the place. That, yeah, and These stories are out there. Yeah. Well, there's that. <laughs> so there's that Body Works exhibit, the yes. Travels Country, that I've been to that to to is that. like... You know, no, just I wait. do. I don't care. Just you wait. give me your horror stories. I want to um, see it. That like they they like take the skin off bodies and pose them in position so you can see how like musculature works. They have animals. They have fetuses in jars and stuff. Mm. Uh, and everyone was like, "Oh, this is so fucking cool!" For like a decade, and like you could sign up at the end of it to donate your body to the exhibit. And they played it off as like. These are all donations of people who donated their body to science. It came out like I don't know, a couple years ago that they were all Chinese homeless people that their bodies just weren't yeah. claimed that they took well, and made for this exhibit. They, they, that's oh. even a, uh, that's uh, fucked a kind up. of 
they allude to that in Return of the Living Dead about the whole like how come you know all these uh, you know skeletons that you can order have perfect teeth and yeah. it's like oh they're young you yeah know? exactly <laughs> well and if you look at the See? body Shady. works the body works ones they're all pretty like the body types are similar and mm. no one's over like five nine in any of the exhibits mm. so and it looks like they all very much came from the same area yeah mm-hmm. so that's what's going on here they're yeah. selling bodies yeah. to body works. <laughs> Um, but there's a there's a there's an interpersonal dilemma going on here because Doctor what's her name Fargo Fargo Doctor Fargo right wants to take over the asylum and usurp the control mm-hmm. of Doctor Evil Doctor Surgeon yeah. Dude okay. yeah. right and so she all oh, right all right I just remembered him okay okay right she poisons him. Yeah, she, she slips. Does. She slips in the same Mickey they've been slipping to everyone else. Right, yep. and he, yeah, he, we get that realization scene from him. He's like, "Oh, like, mm-hmm. how, why would you trust her, dude?" But then right. she lobotomizes him because, yes. like, yeah. I'm going to lobotomize you, like you have done to all these like yeah. women over time. And you're like, okay. And then after that, she's like, "I want to have a relationship with uh, Harry, right?" Because they apparently are having right a, a, an affair. Well, while he's intact, while he's drugged, right? Yeah, not and so while then he's like. He's I don't want, I'm not cool because she's like, we're going to take over. You're still going to go and like procure the women. Only I'm going to be in charge now. And so it's going to be better. Right. And he's like, no. And then I think the movie's over. Well, doesn't she get scared by <laughs> a vampire at some point? Like something. No, or that's that the last one. one. That's yeah. The oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> I'm trying to remember like what happened after that. <laughs> no, it I was just it like, it, it just ends ended. And, and, and I got her saying just like, and oh, because with me. Yeah. Because, um, the, the doctor that she, the doctor that like she's taking over from, mm-hmm. he's like he she does a uh, lobotomy on him, and then he's right. kind of like gone. But then she ends up on the table because yes. Harry puts her on the table, and then he gets away, and then yes. she's like in the process of being killed by the crazy doctor. Yeah, because yes. he comes in like I remember, I want to. I was perform- going to do surgery. Yep. Yeah, and the only way to find out what's wrong with her is to open her up. Yeah, yeah. And so it's like, and then ah, Harry gets away. You're getting the taste mm-hmm. of your own medicine. Yep. And Harry escapes. Dun, dun, dun. So he's going to heaven, apparently. But rock and roll break. Rock and roll break. <laughs> yeah. You rock gotta roll dance break. with me. Dance, dance with, with me. me. <laughs> dance with everybody's got something to do. Everybody but you. Okay. Yep. <laughs> then uh, the next story is <laughs> Greta. We'll be back after this. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so Greta. Was uh, we just re- see, is this connected to that Greta movie that came out like three or four years ago with Chloe Grace Moretz? Is that like a remake of <laughs> this Greta? So. No, <laughs> <laughs> um, you can you have to watch the full feature in order to find out, Michaela. Oh, shit. we 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 missed saying that uh, so Richard Maul, yeah, who is the orderly in the first movie and then he appears again in the third movie, yeah. but he is a Saturday Night Freak Show wall of famer. Mm-hmm. Congratulations, right? sir. Mm-hmm. Well, no, this is, he's not I was like, he's put been on the wall. He's been on the yeah. wall. Oh. He is a voice in American Pop, which we did. He was in Metal Storm, The Destruction oh, of Jared Sin. Yes, he's yeah, far more yeah. bold in that movie. He was in House. Yep. yep. He uh, was in Sidekicks. Yes. And yeah. he's in Night Train teacher. to Terror. <laughs> right. Okay. Yes, that's, yes. okay, so Greta was originally called the Death Wish Club, also uh, known that, as yeah. Makes sense. Carnival of Fools. So this one was made in 1983. Um, John Carr, by the way, is actually the director of these first two movies. Uh, mm-hmm. I know we said Jay. Yeah, okay, so this is a tangled web sure. that we're, we're weaving. Okay, so John Carr directed the first two movies. So this one's called Greta. Mm-hmm. And um, okay, well. So what's Greta about? You said the Death yeah. Wish Club, and that makes Greta. Way Greta, more sense. this is she's a young girl selling popcorn at a carnival. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. Yeah. And then there's Young Meyer, the man who comes up to her and gives her like four hundred dollars in her bra, and then, and then takes her popcorn and throws, <laughs> throws it away. Throws it away. Yep. And I'm buying and buying. Yeah. And buying mm-hmm. and buying. So he's buying her. So he walks away with Greta, and now she's like living with him. Well. He supports her in her dream of playing the piano. She's no, a no. sugar baby. She he he, is, yeah, he wants to. She wants to be a musician. She right. wants to be a, yes. a, a pianist. But he takes her and they have a relationship. And then she becomes a porn star. Right. Mm-hmm. And then there's this other dude who's like a college uh, college he's a frat boy. Yeah. Who, who sees the porn at a stag party? Oh, yeah, and he falls in love, and he's like, "I gotta meet Greta." Right. So he goes to New York, 
and he catches her performing uh her, her uh she's playing the piano right which i guess is what she's other uh, yes. known for right so then you get the porn thing yeah. but you're also a pianist mm-hmm. uh and catches her in a nightclub porn and, and he, piano he's smitten that's a show yeah and they begin a relationship right. we get to hear a little bit of the kind of music that she plays she does not have a future <laughs> playing the yeah. piano. She's basically doing chopsticks. Right? It's like yeah. chopsticks. Yeah, it's, it's not. Good. <laughs> they weren't even trying. No, no. she's like not good. backup piano in the group. Like when he goes and sees her, like she's not mm-hmm. featured. It does not feel like. Yeah, they begin a torrid affair. Mm-hmm. But Young Meyer is plotting. He's, he wants her back. He sees them, and we know this from narration, because he sees them at a <laughs> carnival again, Yeah, and then there's a whole was narration. He just, was he following them, or does he just hang out at this carnival hoping she shows up? Mm. Yes. D- yep. Sure. All right. Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. And then the narrator informs us that he was planning to get back at her, mm-hmm. or get back at them, because he really wanted Stephen or Smith or whatever his name is gone out of the picture, mm-hmm. the college frat boy. Mm-hmm. Yes. And so our story takes a turn. A turn I was not expecting. A turn, Colin. <laughs> to the Death Wish Club. A, a turn to uh, uh, stop motion animation? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did not expect oh, yeah. that. <laughs> There's a our lot first, of it. Our first movie. taste yeah. at this moment is a giant wasp. Okay, explain the context of this. There is okay. a giant Tasmanian uh, devil beetle, no, stinger death bug. Sure. Yep. It's like yep. it's like uh those like African killer bees, you know. Yeah, but except like, like yeah. the size of your of a head. water bottle. Yeah, basically. It, it reminded me of the, like the bug in uh Phantasm when the finger turns into the bug and she's oh, the around. mustard yeah. finger. Yeah, yeah. Th- this feels kind of like that movie mm-hmm. as well. Um, it's a meeting. All right, it's the Death Wish Club. It's a meeting. There are who do we have? We have the I forgot her name. Greta. 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 Obviously, we have Greta. We have the frat boy. We have Jimi Hendrix. Yep. We have <laughs> Russian Corey Feldman. <laughs> yeah. And I think there's one other blonde woman lady. in there. The blonde lady. Yes. Blonde the lady. blonde lady. Yeah. And, and so, Young Meyer. Right? Young, young Meyer's Meyer. there too. Yes. Yep. Okay, yes. Yeah. Young and the Russian guy's like, ah, we've all gathered around. We play <laughs> Russian roulette. <laughs> but they're playing a little differently. Our first one is we have the Tasmanian. Sting beetle? Sting beetle. Sure. Whatever. Yeah. That there's like, <laughs> he may gift us with a sting tonight. So they're basically trying to test death. But here's the thing. These people, they're in the club because they've all had a near-death experience. This is what they say. So yeah. what, they get off on that now? Like, yes. like yeah. I, I think thought this it is was a throw club. Like <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's like the Onanya Club. Like this What's is that? the we guys, we've talked about this. It's the Tom sure. Six movie that has yet to be released. It's, it's uh the Human Centipede director. Yeah. Yes, oh, okay. no, I know. Yeah. So it, it's he made it like two or three years ago and he's been he said no one will release it because it's so controversial. But it's a group <laughs> of women that get together and jerk off to like nine eleven footage. Yeah. Yikes. Yep. Jesus. Yep. Yep. Okay. okay. Well, no. Maybe that one will never get released. Yeah. That's, God, I uh, probably not. I, I, like, no. Okay. It's not specifically the, just nine eleven. It's no, any but tragedy, get, but like point, that was the wrong. example in the trailer. Yeah. So Yeah, he just thought tragedy porn. Yeah, controversial is is a good way to put it. Yeah, he took tragedy porn literally. Yeah. He took that phrase literally. Yeah. Well, he would. He's got to keep his career going somehow. Yeah. He's got what to do you top, do after like, the human yeah. centipede one, two, and three? You got to keep the shock value going up, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I don't so. need it. <laughs> so these folks have employ. They let the 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 the, the seat. No, I was going to say CG. The 1980 CG, <laughs> which is claymation. Yes. The giant bug out of the bottle and it flies around the room mm-hmm. with its it, glowing eyes. But don't, oh, yeah. they, don't they say like if you don't move it? Won't sing you or something. Something about not moving. Yeah, I thought it's that whole suspense thing. If you yeah. move, you may attract it too. Yeah, right. that's what it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a challenge. But they Holy also leave, but they through also through leave the window open because, like Russian roulette, there's always an empty an, an empty uh, chamber. Yeah. Chamber. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Which I love this theme as we go. Yeah. Smart move. I, yeah. Like I like it. I like it. Then it lands on the frat boy's hand, and we're like, "Oh, he's gonna get." And nope, it doesn't actually sting no. him. But no. then. We have another interlude, right? Because I no, can't yeah, re- yeah, yeah. So it lands on the Russian Corey Feldman first, doesn't yes. get him. It ra- lands on the frat boy, doesn't get him. Then it goes out the window, and they're like, "Oh, okay, we're all safe." And then he's the frat boy's like, "Yeah, but now he's going to get an innocent person." Mm-hmm. Cut to innocent person <laughs> in the garden, just, just trying face to get explodes. explodes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was not expecting that we continue <laughs> to follow the beetle. Yeah, <laughs> just a random couple trying it's, to make love in a field. Right, and, he gets yeah. stung in the face and then. <laughs> Face yeah. explodes. Face explodes. Yeah. Beautiful. Onto her. Like onto yeah. her face. Yeah, it shoots <laughs> out really far. It's pretty this gross. Projectile. Mm-hmm. It's disgusting. Yeah. Then 
Rock is and it, roll break? No, no but then no, it's, it's the <laughs> wrecking that, ball, right? Because yeah, yeah, because young Meyer, he's not gonna let this go. No, so with not. a gun, he forces the young man to accompany him. Well, does back. young Meyer? I thought the Russian dude had the gun. Yeah. Maybe he's got the old Colt, well, Colt forty five. The I think you're right, but yeah. the, it was weird in the voiceover. It said young Meyer, but young Meyer isn't in this part of the movie because I figure he something is. got cut. Right, he's in it. Wait, was the next one the electrocution? Oh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Tell next... us about the electric. It is. So yeah. that's before right, the. Right, right. Was that before he brought him in with the gun? Or maybe no, he, he, did. The, he brings him in with a gun on this one, but then he brings him in with a gun later too. Mm-hmm. He does it both times. The, the narrator does say, "But Young Meyer wasn't going to let this go so easily." Yeah. So but the, it doesn't. But it's not like he was forced. And then the Russian room. brings him in. Yeah. And then inexplicably, Greta has super short hair. Right. This confused the hell out of me because she's acting different. She's got short hair. She's wearing like a tuxedo. I legitimately I, thought it was a different actress. I did too. I was I'm like, is that like, a different person? Oh. And, are we sure it's not a different person? Because no, I looked. It's her. It's her. Okay, because her teeth like are her. different. It feel. I think it's the her way her hair. Her teeth are different. It must be like reshoots or something like months apart. Maybe. Something, right? Because her hair framed her face when, is completely well, different. Well, when her hair is longer, she's got like fucked up like decay in her teeth. But when she's got the short hair, she, she, has, have, she has like straight white teeth. She, you're right. There's also uh, the plot doesn't make any sense here. Well, well I mean, like I mean, that it was going to anyway. The whole thing, but sure. Uh, <laughs> he, we're going to talk about that. Uh, the, the frat boy says to her, like, you know, it's like I, I, I want to be it, done with you. Yeah, I want you out of my life. Yeah. Even though the very next scene is She's them there. in bed together and the, mm-hmm. and the narrator telling us how they're in love and yeah. all this other stuff. Mm. So in the original movie, the Death uh, Wish Club. Um, apparently at some point Greta either dies or fakes her own death and then reappears as a man named Charlie, who's a piano player. And so this is Charlie. And then later on, she reassumes sure, that Colin. she's Greta. So all of okay. this, this shocking plot twist is eliminated from the shortened version okay. of the movie. So we I have to go you. with. We have to go with just what we have All here. Right. <laughs> sure. So they strap this uh, like head so they're headband. They're like electric chairs. Yeah, yeah. and put a That's headband nice. on. And then there's a talking computer that tells them like when my light blinks. Uh, it's basically like an auto-generated like electric chair. Like the computer yeah. is about to decide who which one's going right. to die. I will give you the yellow. And Which then, is the like low voltage. So everyone gets a little taste. Yeah. Everyone gets a little ah. taste. And I was like, oh, and everyone gets shocked a little bit. And no. they're all into it. And it's I weird. There's green. There's yeah. green. Which I think only one person. Feels. One of them's a little. I think uh, the Russian feels. He's like, like, oh, I got the green. Yeah. It's yeah he's me. like, I got it's it. Me. I got it. And she's like, it's just green. Yeah. And then there's red. Yeah. Poor Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> Poor Jimi Hendrix. Gets the red. Poor Jimi mm-hmm. Hendrix who pauses to <laughs> say, uh, what does he say? <laughs> like, Fred or Steven or whatever. Excuse me while I smoke. And yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. Head, yeah. His head starts smoking, and then he proceeds to uh, smoke, char, and, and yell for a for really like three long minutes time. straight. Long time. It is disturbing, excessive. <laughs> I liked it because it's just fucking. It's, but it's creepy. His face, the whatever they were using, like the mock up and yeah. the, the, the effects. It's I like a clay looked, face or yeah. something, but it's all desiccated and whatever, yeah. and it's shaking around. Yeah, and there's glowing eyes, the teeth, and yeah. And at the end, it's like his eyeballs have like slid out of his eye sockets. Right. He's all, it's gross. You know? yeah. yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff. But Next. So they haven't. Uh, mm-hmm. Young Meyer. Yet. Young Meyer <laughs> hasn't killed this fucking interloper yet, and no. so the Russian uh, arranges to have them all. It's in- called. Uh, what does he call? Well, then Young Meyer is describing the wrecking. It's called a wrecking ball. <laughs> it weighs two thousand yeah. six hundred and fifty. Classic pounds. villains explaining their plot, <laughs> right. you know. And the Russians but, very eager. But like, I think my it fa- weighs two thousand pounds. I think yeah. my favorite is like yeah. and eighty four ounces. He's just like repeating everything he says and then adding a little bit yes. to it. But I yeah. think the best part is that, like Youngmeyer is literally just like he keeps looking at him like shut up, like stop yeah. talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he'll like interlude and be like. It's it weighs so much, and he's just like, oh, stop it's, it's the annoying it's henchman. Like, yes, yeah, yeah, understand. yeah. Yes. We they get it. Thanks. It's like I just said that. You just yeah. said it again in a Russian accent. Very right. excited. Mm-hmm. And Greta inexplicably has long hair again, yep. and uh, they're in love again. Yep. 
And uh, so basically they're going to all, uh, so uh, Greta and uh, the frat dude are, are tied up this time, stuffed into sleeping bags. I love the sleeping bag detail. Like, yes. why? How, yeah. And how why they're not, why? Yeah, yeah. And none of them match. No. Just all yeah. random sleeping bags. Random, Every, like everyone colors. brought their own. I was going to say, everyone had to bring their own sleeping bag <laughs> from yeah. home for this Checking shoot. the call yeah. sheet, bring your own sleeping bag yeah. tonight. Yeah. And this is the weirdest, like, so they dangle their own. I like the ball. creativity to this. <laughs> well, explain this. How does so this work? So they push the wrecking ball like around and its momentum carries it in a circle and the circle like on one side rubs up against the saw and so the saw like every revolution it makes is gently cutting away at the rope so it builds up a lot of suspense it's it's like a like um a pit and pendulum. I was gonna say it's like a pit and yeah. pendulum. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, it builds a lot of suspense, and you're like, "Who's it gonna fucking land on?" But these people are idiots, and there's big gaps between the people, so I, yeah. it could easily just fall in the gap. But that's but, the uh, empty the, chamber. Right, yeah, that's yeah. The Russian roulette. But all. there's like not just one. There's like three or right. four gaps. Right. So right. it's like they're every other. Yeah. Like in uh, well, I guess like, it's a, like a star a pattern almost. Yeah. 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 In these sleeping bags, it's gonna fall on one of them. But what happens if this thing starts rolling? You know, like it doesn't, I mean, well, but it was, takes your chances. you know, it's like it's a wrecking ball. It's like I'm like, are they in a warehouse? Is this going to go through the floor if it like you know drops or whatever? They talk about the integrity of the roof when they first yeah, get there. They're like, it can withstand up. like right. this many tons of pressure. Like mm-hmm. they talk about that. I like so. that. There's always like a henchman who has to actually throw the power switch in order to get this to work. Yep. But, yeah. Okay. So anyway, it does fall shockingly enough. Onto the blonde, blonde lady, the blonde lady, it's right on her face, smashes her face. <laughs> yep, yep. more like, oh, Jesus, more spurting. Yeah, yep. Yep. <laughs> onto somebody yep. else, spurting. Yeah, yep. onto the frat boy. I believe he gets covered. In yeah, a little he bit gets, of blood. Yep. He gets on his face. Yeah, and so then um, I believe that's like all of a sudden then we cut back to yeah. God and the then devil. Yeah, and then they're just like, yeah, then Greta got married and had a good life. We're like yeah. what? <laughs> that's <Yeah>. it. <laughs> what? It's like she ended up with me, <laughs> and the devil's just like drat. <laughs> I wanted her. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. He but wanted Greta, but, but I have the. Well, husband I wanted and... some revo- some resolution, Satan. We don't all yeah, get what's right. Exactly. Point. I think they do. They turn to the conductor. You know, it's like, but what happened? Yeah, she uh, got she married. Got married. And they went and lived happily. Real happy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> he's uh, he's like he's uh, he's a real good dude. Uh, they have uh, two kids and uh, yeah. walk mm-hmm. to the beach. So mm-hmm. here we have an interlude. Sean, rock and roll, rock and roll break. break! <laughs> <laughs> dance with me. Dance, dance with me. me. Dance with me, dance with me. Yep, because Blimey. everybody's got something roll, right? to do, and yeah. everybody, everybody but you. you. Everybody okay, yeah. so then we're into our third movie, and our third story is uh, called Claire. Mm. Uh, Claire was originally a movie called Cataclysm, aka The Nightmare Never Ends, aka Satan's Supper. And this oh. was released. <laughs> this is actually the oldest one. This was 1980. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> so Richard Mole is in this. Yes. Did he shoot two movies that they put together? Yeah, he was okay. in both of them. He was in both of them, but just separately. Yep. Now that they happen to put together? Yes. Okay. So yeah. just a because big circumstance. Same, that he's in same, because uh, I think same company, right. same writer, same producer. And only this one was directed by, um, he was, uh, John Carr was a co director on this, but we also have Philip Marshak, Tom McGowan, and Greg Tallis. Okay. So, th- because this okay. was a movie that the way I understand it would like shoot for a while and then mm. we'll do it on weekends. Yeah. And then they come back and they just keep at this. Like for Samurai a while. Cop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, this was a It wreck. says big Samurai Cop energy. It really does. But did come out, I guess, in 1980 under that title, Cataclysm, and then was later included in Night uh, Train to Terror. Okay. Interesting. So, what do we got going on here in the story, Claire? Who is Claire? Millionaire's wife. And why is he a millionaire? Because he wrote the yeah, It's I'm Richard Mall. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, okay, yeah, it's the author. Oh, yeah. It's author. Yeah, God, it's the author. God is okay. dead. He is writing, yes. he wrote a book where he is declaring, you know what? God's not real. Jesus was never real. Here's scientific historical right. proof that it never happened. Uh, we I don't are, know if he gets to that point. We are all alone. No, well, that's what he says. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what he says. Yeah. This is uh, based on a, a Time Magazine, uh, like Time Magazine had a. Uh, <laughs> It was like a, a You're sensation. Saying something in Night Train to Terror was inspired yeah. by a time. Yeah, there it was, was a cover It was that called God that. is yeah. Dead, and yeah. it came out in like the 60s, and then yeah. like your Omens, o- Rosemary's Baby, and The Exorcist, yeah. I think, all like came after and this. And now but, the Christian movie industry has like three fucking movies called God's Not Dead. It's a response yep. to the whole. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Um, so anyway, he's the guy who wrote the book, uh, this yes. Richard Mall character. But his wife, Claire, who is a surgeon, mm-hmm. is having Nazi nightmares. Yeah, <laughs> Nazis. I forgot about that. That's the Nazis. a title for a movie, right? There. Nazi, Nazi nightmares. nightmares. That is a good Who's title. Who's going to see that? And in the Nazi well, we would nightmare, watch it. yeah, we would watch well, the fuck yeah, out of it. That's very true. Well, it's it would Saturday have to be an AKA other. movie, like AKA Nazi nightmares. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That would like have to be the nightmare. subtitle. That, yeah. it could be the subtitle. Yeah. Well, uh, her nightmare involves what? Nazis. Well, yeah, but specifically but a, who? A specific Nazi. Oh, yeah. Who is coming to... A, um, a dark circle-eyed Nazi who yeah. has come to... He, he looks like a, a vampire. He, he looks does. like Count Dracula. He does. Yeah, we were debating, is it Dracula or Dorian Gray? Because right. he's got very much vibes from both of them. Yeah. Um, well cast, I think. Like, this guy this, looks yeah. this, dude is this creepy part. as fuck. Yeah, yeah. this guy is yeah. kind of perfect for His this. face, like, I don't know if it's just the makeup they did him in or what for this, but... He looks like he's had a lot of bad plastic surgery, you like, know. Like his face looks, looks like a mask. It's so taut it's, and like his face smooth, is like a Billy Corgan mask. Yeah, he looks like the farmer bro, Martin Shkreli. Yeah, oh, yeah, he does. yeah, he does. That's, that's yeah. what I'm like. Ooh, Mid- I have him yeah. with like longer hair. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. an easy way to not like this guy. Those weasley yeah. little eyes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But he's significant. He looks like a weasel because <laughs> a Holocaust survivor living in present day America recognizes him on TV yeah. at the opera. You know? Yeah, sorry. He's the, been, the Nazi dudes at the opera, yeah. right? right? The Holocaust survivor has been like red string in this shit for a long time. Yeah, he's got yeah. the wall of yeah. like that, right? And has determined that this guy has lived through the centuries. So there must be something up with him, and so he enlists the help of a detective who lives in his building, which is played right. by Cameron Mitchell, the yes. great Cameron Mitchell, who's like uh, done hundreds and hundreds of yeah. movies. Yeah. But uh, you would know him from movies such as Action USA. Anyone? Yeah. Uh, yeah. From a whisper to a scream. Also, some of you may know that one as the off- Offspring. But the Toolbox Murders, mm. uh, Silent Scream, Blood and Black Lace, the Mario Bava movie, and he was the voice of Jesus in the big epic widescreen movie, The Robe from Twentieth Century Fox. The Robe. The, the robe. robe. Okay. The Robe. It was uh, yeah. interesting. The robe. Can't say I'm familiar. Nope. nope. And Don't I saw it like a hundred years ago. It was like there was Ben Hur, and then there was I think it was like the first widescreen movie. Uh the oh. robe might be the huh. movie that like Cinemascope uh, huh. first debuted with. Okay. Voice of Jesus. Voice, Voice of Jesus. Because you couldn't actually show Jesus in, in a movie back then. They were sacrilegious, you know. So True. And, uh, the voice of Jesus. Anyway. Mel took care of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um so um Cameron Mitchell's on the case. Or is he? I'm not sure. <laughs> Uh, he doesn't necessarily believe. Yeah, his he doesn't really right believe it. He's like he wants to be helpful, but he doesn't really right. buy into it. He's a Holocaust survivor, and he's obviously been through some shit. Yeah. So he's just like, I'll help you. All right, so he, we'll help you get that son of a bitch. Okay, without, so yeah, without without police uh, in, uh, help, then the Holocaust survivor says, "Well, I'm going to go and take care of this motherfucker by myself." Mm-hmm. And so yeah, because the cop does go with him to the opera or wherever to like see the guy. Mm-hmm. And then he's just like, well, I've got no jurisdiction. I can't do anything. Yeah. Right. But You're he does point him out, so he knows who he's talking about. This picture was taken in April 1944. Can't be the same guy. Nope. Okay. Can't be. So the Holocaust survivor goes over to the Duder's like, mansion house with a gun. He's mm-hmm. got the wall through PPK. Mm-hmm. He goes in there, and he approaches a velvet, a velvet drape curtain. Court, yeah. Because we all have those as room dividers in our house, right? Yeah. Yep. 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 A lot of this, there's some black void stuff going on here where it's just like, it's only the door and I yeah. feel like there's nothing around us. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. yeah. But it's it's spooky. That's, and yes. then he opens <laughs> the, the door. POV shot I <laughs> did like. That's called low budget and there's no set. Yeah. <laughs> and what happens when he opens that door? There's a fucking demon. It's like a demon vampire who yells at him for a second <laughs> and then he gets his chest blown out and then Dorian Gray laughs at him. Yeah. And it's within the, like, it's like four a, seconds. Yeah, it's <laughs> seconds. It's quick. It is quick. <laughs> and that guy is gone. It is jarring. There are unexpected <laughs> ends for characters that happen very yeah, quickly. Yeah, because we got like an actual monster man. It's so like, whoa, there's yeah, a monster yeah. in a, this. It's like glowing eyes, yes. full on like yep. monster demon mask. Mm-hmm. I liked it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was great. And then he, there's an autopsy where it's determined that not only did he have the uh, Nazi uh, death camp tattoo on uh-huh. it, but he also had a 666 six, 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 six. tattoo mm. on his chest. That happened when he died. Yes. That's what the coroner tells us. Mm-hmm. That dude's a porn star. <laughs> the dude with the, re- <laughs> the, re- like the red hair, and with those red curly hair and the beard and everything. <laughs> well, that the guy acting porn. level in this movie is... Yeah, it's the, probably uh, a lot of porn uh, actors yeah, in this movie. Sketchy. Yeah, feels um, like it. 
the symbol, of course, looks identical to the one in the Omen. So I'm like, was there a right. lawsuit or they were just like, fuck it. They didn't even, you know, mm. Omen makers didn't even see this. Um, that may be just a representation of how it's always looked. No, that was uh, the Omen came up with that stylized. They, are you like, sure? Like, yeah, yeah, positive? Yeah. Okay. Because I don't know. The six, six, six is before that. But um, so the uh, so with him out of the, the way, then the author. Mm hmm who appears on TV promoting his book, God is Dead, uh, takes a meeting from... Uh, a beanie. Who's he? <laughs> uh, 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 18th century sailor who <laughs> fell off a ship and somehow materialized in the present day. And he's, is a warning him. He's, yeah, he's a monk. He's a monk. He's a defrock <laughs> monk. He's a defrock monk because he See, also... I forgot about that, so I was just making shit up. I know. He I also like, has monk. the 666 sign on him, yes. so he's a God's chosen warrior to, like, you know, combat uh, the devil... Is that, do you need the mark to? Be I think God's so. Maybe if I don't you're know. Not, uh, I guess we well, know he's not evil. I was like, that's the mark of the beast, right? Yeah. So why God doesn't does he give you that somehow, but somehow he's been because touched he's by, seen the devil. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's how he has the mark. He okay. saw him. So he's um, this is implying that uh, Olivier, which is the name of the uh, Dorian. eternal Dorian Gray, Nazi yeah. Dorian Gray character, um, uh, well, he's seen him. So mm -hmm. yes. like, so he approaches uh, Olivier's house. And mm -hmm. if I remember correctly, he is he, uh, yeah, arrested. He, <laughs> no, uh, well, he he meets he After meets Dorian's or uh, Olivier. Mall. He meets Olivier's like companion. Oh, the woman in white. The woman in white. Yeah. In like a weird lighthouse thing. And what happens uh. to him? Because I just remember the next thing I remember is he's getting hauled away he's, by the yeah, police. He was like, "Why are you wearing well, well, white?" Because he's no. camped out outside Claire's house. He does. He has the meeting with Richard Mole. The next time we see yeah. him, he's digging through the garbage and the police show up. Right. And grab him. Right. I think you got ahead a little bit. Yes. Police grab right. him and take him away screaming into the police cars. He's right. hanging yeah. out the front and side. You're right. Like, You're right. Claire's waking up from dreams yes. of the yep. monster mask. And we all see him stuff. later when he washes up on shore. When he crawls up <laughs> from the sea. Yeah. Yes. When he crawls like, out of the sea. Like what you happened do. to him? Cameron, uh, 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 sorry. Um, like, I'm picturing, like, a prison break, like, County Monte Cristo style. Yeah, we yes. missed Where that. he, like, yes. ends up in the ocean. Yeah, and that's exactly I assume that's shore. what happened, yes. right? Yeah. Um, but no one's going to tell us. Olivier, yeah. right? <laughs> yes. He is like, I want to meet with the author because I want to invite him into uh, our... Our uh, organization. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But this guy doesn't believe in God or the devil. And so what happens to him? Where were we at right now? I don't. I can't. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to put this together. Right, let's finish yeah. up the Papini. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, let's, because I don't think we we can skip past that. Because no, Papini, yeah. like, he gets taken away, hauled away by, by the police. He right. washes up on shore the so next on time shore. we see yep. him. And then he goes to, is it the house or it's, a lighthouse? It's, it's, it's the house. It's Olivier's, Olivier's house. Olivier's house. Yeah. Ends up in a spiral staircase it talking to the woman in white. It is very lighthousey. I don't know. It is very lighthousey. Yeah. And he's like, I don't know what he says. He's like, why are you wearing white? Yeah. You should be wearing red. And she was like, because looks good on me yeah yeah mm -hmm. but then there's a little conversation and then she turns around and she's fucking full demon vampire yeah full demon mask like oozing and then she and, and then disgusting. she yell blows him out of the lighthouse <laughs> yeah, oh, she yells all the way <laughs> like him fighting invisible wind right. grabbing door frames yep. he ends up on right. the beach like yeah there's no is, wind dude and then he's literally sucked into the pits of hell yes. yeah yeah he, uh, and then uh, yeah because doesn't like a more giant claymation, yeah, more claymation. Yeah. But we get into claymation people at this point, yeah, yeah. which is yeah. the best, yeah, because, because it looks like celebrity deathmatch. It, it does. Yes, <laughs> yes. I was gonna say it reminded me of your that scene where there was yeah. action figures. Yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 But it's oh, great. Yeah, it's great. He gets like he gets picked up. Uh, uh, I thought he was gonna get split in half, but like a what is this? It's a like a spider creature. Yeah. Yeah. It comes like, out of yeah. the ground. It's like they took. It's like they took a prototype of the Hornet from the beginning. Yeah. yeah. It's like there's an evolution here. And it's like These this one was demons. more like Scorpion Spider. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I think yeah. this is supposed to be Olivier in his natural form. Feels like it. I yeah. think we get there. Yeah. So he sucks him down to hell. But somehow his physical body actually does turn up. Yeah. And yes. then he ends up in, in the, the morgue. morgue. There right. We go. They say that he was drowned. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And Cameron he, Mitchell's like, he. this man was drowned, but it looks like he was, you know, held he underwater. Has, he has... Is it Claire? Is that her name, Claire? Yeah. He has Claire ID him. Right. Which makes total sense. Because how does she know Papini? I don't know. Yeah, we didn't, know, we didn't know. We didn't know they had a meeting. Up, but... gets yeah. In, yeah. And so then Cameron Mitchell puts it together because he stares at the wall, the with the red, the red string wall. Yes. 
He's like, I know we've seen this before. This guy's actually been around forever. Yeah, he's so let's like, go here he is him. in the Prussian War. Here he is in the World War One. Here he is in World War Two. Like yeah. all these different wars. Yeah. So yeah. he goes to investigate mm-hmm. with his old partner Abe Vigoda. It's not really Abe Vigoda, but it might he as well be. Microwaved in his car. <laughs> yeah. Apparently. And then, uh, but is he the one who goes through the velvet curtain again and into the netherworld where the, he sees the demon thing again? And- uh, nope. No, nope. it was the, a, the, the kid in the, the track, uh, not the track jacket, but the, 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 the bomber Letterman jacket. jacket. Yeah. Yeah. He was Where like a he waiter from the party. <laughs> 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 Do you remember they went to a party and there was like the waitress in the red dress that he ended yeah. up taking? Oh, right. oh yeah. yeah. It was like this funky, like, it was like a party disco that, party. It was a party that we're all like, we want to be at the Yeah. Right. It looks pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Like the guy good... in the white suit dancing. Oh, he was having a great yeah. time. And yes. he was like pointing while he, he was, was dancing a lot. A lot. There yeah. was a lady dancing with a snake and there was big thrones you could sit right. on. This it was, was okay. a party. This was yeah. a party. Yeah. yeah. That was a good, I, that was yeah. like a rock break within the movie. Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah. oh, okay. And, and yeah, Olivia ends up taking the waitress home and he's like seductively right. taking oh, off his yeah. boots while she's in bed. And he takes oh off his God. he takes off his boot to reveal a hoof. Yeah, dude. <laughs> a how did hoof. we forget about this? <laughs> yeah. So and we're all like, oh, Dorian Gray. Oh, he's a vampire. Well, we did not no. know this. Like, no. <laughs> no. Dude. It's revealed at some point that like he's Satan's right hand man or something like right. that, right? Because yeah. I think he's trying to, he's telling Richard Mall, like, you know, there's only one master and you will serve the yeah. master and all this other shit. And then he sends like claymation Richard Mall to hell. Uh, I remember <laughs> yeah. him. He does. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, but we have to uh, I think we have to finish up Cameron Mitchell, because when his partner gets cooked in the car, he runs back out of the house down to the car and then stock footage explosion. And he's yeah, gone. He, yeah. he dies in an explosion. Yeah. He dies in an explosion. An explosion yeah. that Abrupt. is in the daytime yeah. when this is happening at night. That's very yeah. true. <laughs> right. That's very true. So he's gone. And so this all brings yeah. us then back to Claire, because right. that's right. Claire has something to do with this story because who we all who we <laughs> the story that, that's named at this her. point yeah. I had forgotten about. Yeah, but yeah. sure, yeah. But she goes to confession. Oh, oh the the <laughs> spirit box. The yeah, box. We, I forgot about the spirit See, this box. Movie's so dense, <laughs> dude. Like, forget about this all the stuff dense. that's in it. Because apparently, when you go to confession, they send you on a quest. Yeah, right. I didn't yeah. know this. Chosen one, and we cannot question our fate. Look you down at your feet. You might have kept this box Catholicism if you right? start coming yeah. up with shit like yeah. this. Like, hey, we also get, have this to do. I get we have quests. Side quests. Converted. Yeah. There's, swords? There's gotta be. We went through crusades and shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, what's my reward for when I cash in yeah. this quest? You Eternal know, right? life. Yeah. Well, the question <laughs> is, uh, what? That's where they get you. <laughs> God's kingdom. Yeah. Fuck. That is where they get <laughs> you. They get you. Son of a bitch. <laughs> well, what's your quest? <laughs> um, to, yeah, uh, to get the heart of yes. Dorian Gray. We don't yes. know this. Yeah. I don't yeah. think until we, it we happens. didn't know this she until has we watched to it put happen. It in this like box that's made it's from very, the wood of the came cross. Up from the floor. Yeah. It's like a fancy chest. It's, yeah, it's Snow White. The yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Heart, I thought like, that too. I was like, we really doing this right now? It's Snow like, White. Yeah. <laughs> so she gets Dorian Gray on an operating table at, at one point. Right, because he's she do that? he is okay. No, she hits him with so the car. She's, she's stalking him, oh, right. and he's going for a little like leisurely stroll with his girlfriend, and she hits him with her car, and then gets him to this like lab. Which where the fuck is this? How does she? Uh, because she's a surgeon, right? She's, she's a, a surgeon. surgeon. Yeah, okay, she's yeah, yeah, a surgeon. yeah, yeah. So then she's got him on the table, and apparently his girlfriend he was walking with is like now on her side because she's I'm like assisting sure her in surgery. Yeah. yeah, this is a cut where we're just we we went a long very distance confused. in this very quick cut. Yeah, yeah, because she wants to she, stab him to but death, but she's all like, bloody already when she comes in. Yeah. and wild looking in scrubs. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I'm sorry, she's a surgeon. It takes her a really long time to get his heart out. Right? That's true. Yeah. Well, right. well, she's struggling. This is the exorcist moment. Well, there was another exorcist moment where she went into a closet that attacked her. Uh, and she uh, was floating, and yeah. then uh, like oh yeah, there were zombies coming out from the thing. Came up out of the ground. My, right. my theory is that those demons that were coming out were the band members from the train. Uh, yeah, I like that. I, I have that. That's my theory. All right, I like that. <laughs> but this is another exorcism kind of sequence where shit in the operating rooms all flying around. It's very hard for her, and she takes his heart out and takes it over and puts it in the box and we're like aha good he's dead yeah but it turns out that he somehow switched bodies with the other woman yes well switch bodies but looks exactly the same yeah it's like a glamour right yeah yeah, yeah. like that's because we see that she's on the table with her chest opened yep. up yes. and then he cackles maniacally or something or yeah. he attacks yes. her 
she's screaming and we see him walk out of the uh, operating room out of the operating room Strut with like, a really yeah. creepy smile it's like what, saturday night the, fever right with the music that goes it's like dun 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 <laughs> Dun dun dun! Yeah. As he's walking happily down this yep. little hallway and everything, yeah, like they're getting ready to groove, mm -hmm. but they're just building up for him, yeah, because this is yeah. it's an unhappy ending. Satan's like, my man was able to, I won, yeah, you know, it's like, but, but she <laughs> stayed true to the end, yeah, says God. So, yep, Claire's going to heaven. But what are we going to do about these rock band uh, kids? It's time like what does the conductor oh, say oh it's time it's, it's dawn it's, it's dawn, dawn. Yeah. yeah yes and so the train crashes into a fiery wreck you know yep. all the bodies are strewn all over the floor the guitarist is still still going the <laughs> spasms yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, she's spasms. still still playing guitar and the fucking break dancer died in like a break dancing pretzel i hate, yep. I hate that yep. <laughs> he's just showing off it's his fucking actor showing off and i hate it <laughs> uh and so it's like well they're going to hell but no uh, God grants them all a reprieve, and so all of a sudden they're back alive, playing that fucking song mm -hmm. again, and uh, the train uh, heads off. The train into the, goes into on. The cosmos. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, space train. Never. Space train. Yeah. Where we get another reprise of the song, followed by a little bit of uh, and there, a little uh, uh, <laughs> soundtrack interlude, <laughs> and then the song again, again the song during again. the, the because credits. I and I figured it out. They had to. They had to back it up. They had to get the end of the song to hit right at that end moment of the credits, enough, and they yeah. had to yeah. back it up. And they couldn't connect them. So they put a little music in there. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I see your tricks. <laughs> oh, it's madness. Uh, I mean, it's basically the only way to describe. No, it. Colin. It's terror. Terror <laughs> on a train at night. <sighs> what well, a journey. Well, thank you for sticking with us as we described the experience of watching and your brain melting and your eyeballs popping out of your head as you watch Night Train to Terror. We went far, I think, in this tonight. I know. Where yeah, we started we're, versus where we ended. Yeah. Feels like we did a lot. Yeah. It was a but journey. Anyway, I have a clear image of the movie now that I have uh, from watching it. This so is helping. Yeah. Talking it out actually yeah. does. Yeah. This is therapeutic. This is what we do. Yeah. yeah. But would we recommend that you watch it? That's the big question mm. that everybody has on their mind. But first of all, before we tell you, we're going to have to summon our mailman. His name is Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Dance with me. Dance with me. <laughs> Igor says it's dance time for a dance with me. Dance yeah. with me. Yeah. Come on, Come on and dance guitar. with me. Dance with me. Everybody's got something to do. It's catchy. Everybody, Everybody but, but you. you. It's very, very catchy. catchy. Yeah. And, and it sucks. It's probably not on Spotify. It's maybe there's a clip on YouTube. This might be the only place you're gonna find yeah. on YouTube. You oh, can't sure, find the whole YouTube. all of it edited together into <laughs> one. Yeah. Oh. Um. Okay. So uh, this is our interactive portion of our show. You can uh, join in on this. All you got to do is follow along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Freak Show. Or Twitter at Sat Freak Show. You can email us directly. Saturday Night Freak Show Yahoo.com. Or you can follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show about tonight's movie, Night Train to Terror. You mean somebody else has seen this? Yeah, believe it or not, I was surprised actually <laughs> that we got, because uh, I'm like, I'm, we're, we're way out in the, in the fringe here. Yeah. Well, we had like mail on Night Claws. And uh, what was that other the uh, the, the night trilogy? I was like, is that part of my night trilogy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah I think there was some comments. Uh, night killer. It? Night killer. Night yeah, killer. Mm -hmm. yeah. That uh, was a good one. But Adam Kaler writes in and says, "Masks, magic, murder, and mayhem on a train." Oh wait, this isn't terror train. Uh -huh. My bad. Uh, stop it does tracking. have all those things though. It does. Yeah, but they are very different <laughs> yes. movies. Well, he this says one you should stop taking trains because murder, murder. This most is your That's not really feature, this movie though, right? This is your double feature, terror train, and this, right? Right. Except I, would think, I so. think on this one for night, the terror train, we can cross out the O R on this and write the Ibel in it. Instead <laughs> of the opposite for the other night one. Night train yeah. to terrible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> just saying. The B movie vault says. O M goddamn G. You are in for a hell of a ride. A movie I first saw at 5 a.m. during a 24 hour movie marathon, oh wow. breaking my brain in the process. Yeah. Unconnected stories tied together with the most ridiculous framing story and a never ending pop song that will stay in your head forever. This movie is joyous. That's a great synopsis. I can't, like, I, I feel like I would think I hallucinated this movie if I was at a 24-hour right? movie. Right? Yeah. At yeah. 5 o'clock in the yeah. morning. Yeah, this yeah. guy might be like, 
I, I need uh, to sleep, go to sleep. Something's like, insane. Like, yeah. I have, I have gone I've wrong. been here too long. Can you imagine it being four in the morning? You've been watching all these movies and you're high watching yeah. this? Yeah. yeah. This is the you perfect would time. You lose your uh, mind. Yeah. yeah. I will. That's, that's, that's perfect time of hour of the day yeah. and just everything yeah. else where you're just like, you might explode. The nice thing is if you start nodding off during this movie, when the rock and roll breaks, you say, I'll bring you right back. I'll bring you right back up. You're that's like, why oh, it's back. Yeah. Or you, you're like, I fell asleep and they were singing and they're still. Oh, yeah. yeah. There is that problem as well. You just have no concept of. Yep. time uh tim soul writes in oh. and says my favorite thing about it being stitched together from several uncompleted movies is that richard mall was in two of the donor right. cadaver yeah, films great. that's great i love it also i mean this from the bottom of my heart dance with me dance with me he says for about 15 years i put together b movie theme mix cds as b fest giveaways and i'm delighted i got to put that song on a mix before yes. they stopped making my brand of cdrs oh, there you that's go amazing. that's great i'm i've I find it funny that you gave up because they stopped making your brand of CDRs. <laughs> which, I mean, like, I love the dedication to a certain guy. Well, I no guess I'm done. No more Memorex sense in a moment. No, yeah. yeah. Uh, Peter Gatt says it took way too long to kill off that fucking band and their stupid <laughs> song, Everybody's Got Something to Do, Everybody But You. Mm. That is what everybody's going to remember this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Owen Johnson writes in and says, under better care, the case of Claire Hansen segment could make a great horror movie on its own. The idea that this entity works for the devil and is on a mission to terrorize mankind for eternity is pretty metal. Over the years, I've tried to convince myself that the segment I like makes up for the rest of the movie. <laughs> Well, you can see that yeah. one, Owen. It turns out it's called Cataclysm. Yes. Uh, you can, you it's can not a good search title that one out. Yeah. No, it's not. Or The Nightmare Never Ends. Or Satan's Supper. Mm. There you go. Uh, Michael Whitaker says, isn't Night Train a cheap wine? Or is this the multiverse oh. version of Terror Train? Night Train. Neither. <laughs> I, I like that. <laughs> we should be drinking Night Train cheap wine. There you go. We should. Yeah. I mean, see, you got to do that themed pairing yeah, thing. We should yeah. have thought ahead. Uh, Novato Judoka says, I've only seen the trailer before. Uh, so it's about to get funky. Mm. Uh, happy holidays, everyone in the freak show verse, and Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you. Aww, Merry thanks. Christmas to you all. Well, speaking of the holidays, last week we watched the Star Wars holiday special. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> yes, we did. Uh, after okay, yeah. after watching the society this and or that and then this, it's a miracle our sanity's intact. <laughs> That's right very now. true. Yeah. Yes. I was like, I think that also like contributed to the reason why I thought of this was like uh, Terror Train was kind of a New Year's Eve movie, and this has a party on a train, yeah. and it's like this it feels like a holiday. And it's train movie. month, obviously, so you gotta yeah, stick yeah. with the train, train month. month. Well, Chris Harkey says about the Star Wars holiday special. I'm glad you're covering this horror, a different kind of horror. <laughs> yes, though, <isn't> <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, Robin true. Lineman Silverberg says B. Arthur was a Broadway legend. If anyone could sell that song in the cantina, it was her. Yeah, I didn't realize we kind of put her down a lot in our episode. Like she can kind of sing like Broadway legend. I'm like, yeah, I, I had no knowledge of her Broadway. No, it's just that song is just terrible. It's not, it's not yeah, for her, her ability. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. yeah, it's not. She may be great, but that yeah, song. Is, I think we. I think we said like she's doing what she can. Yeah. Yeah. And again, she clearly like doesn't know it. Right. We all like she doesn't that. know what yeah. she's making. She doesn't yeah. know fuck about Star Wars. It's no. clear. It's she's just like I gotta show up and sing this song to a bunch of people in rubber masks. Sure. She know? also yeah. thought his name was Fingering Dan. So. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Uh, I well, be Arthur on my side. <laughs> Chris Huddleston writes in and he the says, Chud. What's up, Chud? I watched this upon its original airing. I was four, but I have pretty vivid memories of it. At oh. that age, I ate it up. Later, it seemed like one of those things I wasn't really, that wouldn't, that, that I wasn't, had really happened or was a dream up until the internet era and people started talking about it. I right? can't believe we have a listener that watched this like live as it aired. Like that only happened at <laughs> one moment in time. So that's a. F that's amazing. I it love makes that. Makes me happy. Yeah. Saw See, Huds. When it was original. <laughs> you could say it was formative even for you. Yeah. yeah. So when you were four years old. Holy shit. So. Yeah. But I get that. The whole like you saw it and you're like, mm -hmm. I know I saw this thing, but I uh, remember bits and pieces of it. And, and then you're like, did later? I make that yeah. up? Yeah. yeah. You're like, did I dream that? Yeah. And then you're just like, <gasps> I know. I and he had to wait until the internet era until somebody right. bootlegged right. it. I yeah. thought that about the Ewok movie for a long time. Mm -hmm. Like there was just such a span that like no one ever talked about it. I was like, did that happen? I feel like that happened. Can you imagine how insane you'd sound in that era where you couldn't access yeah. the Star Wars holiday right. special? Yeah. It happened, to damn it, I remember. Like, yeah. Do you guys remember this? Especially because yeah. it aired the one time, so right. like, if it's people like didn't watch the it. The Mandela yeah. effect, it's like, that never happened. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what the fuck are you talking about, Life Day? 
And you're like, there was Wookiee <laughs> VR porn. I saw it. And yeah. we're like, sure I, kid, sure kid. That's where you sounded yeah. like, I know what I saw. I know, Luffy was a... real. Yeah. <laughs> now the, the Mandalorian's trying to make you think that Life Day is like a, a galaxy-wide holiday, it but it's now. really just a Wookiee holiday. It's a Wookiee holiday. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. We're just clearing yeah. that up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they're doing it wrong. Yeah, we're looking at you. Yeah, well, they're trying to take over where everyone's like, may the force be with you. Because yeah. Nick Nolte's character mentions it in, um, in The Mandalorian. I have spoken. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Well, anyway, now we're going to go around the table and tell you if you should watch Night Train to Terror, starting with... Michaela! What do you think about Night Train to Terror? Uh, I'm impressed we recalled as much of it <laughs> as we did. Me too. Because, um, like, I, we had this problem watching uh, Detention, because that is also a very uh. dense movie. Um, and I just, I, there's so much that we, we, I'm sure we didn't even talk about oh, just because yeah. it was impossible to keep track of it all. But this movie is like a watchable version of that, you know? <laughs> um, it, it's, it's a fever dream of absolute nonsense and that's why you should watch it. Like mm-hmm. this is a time capsule moment. There will never be another movie like this. I mean, Spookies, I guess is like your other movie like this, <laughs> Yeah, but I'm that's a, it's a pair. But man, this one's just like, it's so many weird concepts and so many interesting concepts that could be good on their own or as full movies. But I love a horror anthology. I don't think I've seen a bad one yet. Like, I love them all. Uh, and I did not expect that going into this. I totally thought we were going to get like Slasher on a train. And I'm like, why is Colin doubling up on Slasher on a train? Yeah. I was like, we just did Terror Train. I was like, he's got to have knew. a reason for this. He's got to have a- I was like, there's yeah. a reason he's doing it. It's either going to take place on like New Year's Eve or so. It's going to be like relevant. Colin will pick it because it's relevant somehow. <laughs> and like, I'm thinking about buying this vinegar syndrome Blu ray. So, what? Yeah, because like, what? I. You get the full feature film of credit. <laughs> like, it's true. Colin, you say that, but you own it. We're looking at your I copy know, on the I table know. here. Yeah. yeah. What are you like telling me for? Like, yeah. Uh, this is crazy. I yeah. have to buy it. So, I. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sometimes you see something so crazy, you're like, I have to own this so I can share it with other people and spread the gospel of this movie. So go forth, children, and spread the gospel of this movie because you should all watch it. And, you know, um, if you don't like what you're watching, wait five minutes. Yeah. So it'll change. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, you'd be right. uh, yeah. you, have, you have to see it. There's not really anything else like this. So you got to see it. Uh, Holly, what do you think? This movie is an enigma it is an entity all its own it is pure chaos i don't know what is happening this it's funny like sitting here talking about it like we really needed to come together and talk about what just (laughs) happened so we could put it together because it made no fucking sense when we were watching it i was lost this entire goddamn ride but fuck it was fun (laughs) (laughs) it was so ridiculous it uh, every like, I, I think each concept would work. So I, I see where they were going with it all. And I see why they thought they could make this a successful anthology. But it is batshit crazy when they put it all together. It makes no sense. Colin, you were right when you said it's it's like a, a really long trailer. Because mm. that's how it feels. You You have so many unanswered questions. There's so much that you have to, like, weave together on your own. It is absolutely crazy. Makes no sense, um, but there's some fantastic gore. Like it's there's some really gross moments. There is some hilarious stop animation. It is <laughs> fucking fantastic. Yeah, there's a, he turns into the devil thing again at yeah. the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. forgot we forgot to mention that. Yeah. Like full on. I forgot what he does because he kills someone else with so much. <laughs> it's just it's this is it's so much to take in, but uh, you have to watch it. You have to experience this. I s- highly suggest you watch it with other people because you won't be able to endure it all alone. Um, but yeah, I think you should watch it. This is, a, this is absolutely, I feel like this is, a, is this a, your situation that it's that ridiculous that we can't really believe that it just happened. Yeah. It's kind of like yeah. that, there, right? I mean, there was some good celebrity death match. <laughs> Man, this was, in this. this was bad I shit. I, couldn't, crazy. I'm like, I couldn't, actually couldn't believe it like this. No, like, That's what they're doing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. All of it was just insane, um, but I loved the ride. Uh, yeah, I recommend it for sure. Sean, what do you think? 
Um, uh, Colin, I'm gonna I'm gonna need to borrow this from you. Um, <laughs> just you got to see Greta. I, I got I want to. There's Greta. There's there's commentaries. There's interviews with editors and all that stuff. There's editors. Uh, that's generous. Right. Oh, that's well, cute. I, uh, there is information to be gleaned further from this movie based on uh, what we've seen tonight and all that. Um, it is uh, it is a fun movie. It is. It's fun when they can do stuff like this, and yes, it is. I mean, the movie's kind of a, a mess, obviously. We yeah. just watched it, but when they can, when you can do something with it, I don't know. I had fun with the stories. I can't believe Richard Mole was in two of them. <laughs> um, well, it, it's ridiculous. It's funny. There's, it, it is the Spookies companion. Like I, uh, I almost, I'm sitting here. I'm almost. If I recommend the Spookies, I have to recommend this. Like it is almost. It's Kith and Kin. It's the same <laughs> thing. Like so. Uh, I mean, I had fun. I think you will too. Watch Night Train to Terror. I'm I'm surprised because again I was yeah. with Michaela going like, yeah. Yeah. wow, we're really doubling up in the train shit here. We, but, yeah, we, I'm sorry, Colin, but we were all doubting you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah. I was, uh, but we were not let down, and uh, so yeah, I recommend it. This was uh, this was fun, and I want to learn more about it. Not not so far as to watch. I don't think the three separate movies or whatever is out there, but yeah. I want to know more about this. So yes, mm-hmm. I'm going to recommend it to you. You should watch Night Train to Terror, Colin. Take us home. I mean, I'm actually kind of surprised it's turning <laughs> yeah. out this way. I mean, like, you know, as an explorer in the ar- outer darkness, of, uh, <laughs> yes. I feel the it is my darkness. mission to yes. find, like, these obscure things and then bring them here mm-hmm. and be like, well, let's see how this plays. Yeah. Um, but this was one when I saw it. I feel like that space train is passing Colin off to the side as he's like, <laughs> that's exactly what I saw. Right? It's like Colin's <laughs> face reaching for shit. Going, ah, I got this one. <laughs> but that's, I mean, I guess, you know, like, when I saw it, myself i was like this movie is nuts i mean like this is a freak show movie and i haven't brought one in a while that's like okay this is the crazy one but i think that it works i mean like it's objectively a bad movie so you know i mean we have to you know hopefully clean that it's bad but it's one of those like so bad that it's entertaining because it's a train wreck of a movie. No, but, I see what you did there. Nah. See, but, um, <laughs> I think when did we, we make that same joke on Terra Train? I think we did. The, did uh, we? Maybe. I did the same uh, one. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh no, keep going. <laughs> but the, I think the things that won me over was yeah the 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 repeated like the the band kept <laughs> yes. coming back to the same song and you're like something's off here this is crazy and then i mean it makes sense that that'd be purgatory right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. you're just hearing the same thing makes over sense. and over like, and, oh, never this gonna is catchy. Yeah. and then an hour later you're like ah! it's like the the treehouse of horror episode of the simpsons where they have the two shuttles going into space and they find out they're on the one that's going to the sun to blow up because rosie o'donnell's like let's all sing show tunes from broadway and they all start singing <laughs> together on the train yeah that's what it's like <laughs> it's something else it has to be experienced um but i think uh you know the the yeah i mean it has some gore you know that kind of peppers in there and you're like eh, it's not expert stuff but it's like you know, it's that seasoning that we talk about. But I think the moment that it won me over was like the first one. I had the claymation, mm. uh, you know, uh, bug. And then the further like monster masks and, you know, the claymation stuff and zombies bo- uh, bursting out of floors and stuff like that. And you're just like, OK, this movie is <laughs> like just gone right off the rails and is throwing everything at you to try and keep it entertaining as long as you're watching it. This is a party movie. Right, yes. yeah. you got to watch this with people. I don't think it's yeah. you know necessarily like you know uh, uh, experience it on your own situation, um, but it was a lot of fun. However, I know that I didn't recommend Spookies. Why am I going to recommend Terror Train? I've been asking or Night Train to Terror. I've been asking myself that question. There were far more monsters than Spookies. There were there were more monsters. There were spookies. farting muck men, which <laughs> yeah, I but, but Spookies as a whole, like is not there i guess that's my problem with spookies okay this, this one this one got there yeah because yeah. it does Eventually have gets there. in like, spookies is not you're right we're saying that some of the stories are anticlimactic but it does feel even you know somehow they rescued it and said like okay there is like a a beginning middle and an end because of the framing story i think yeah. that's really what does it and yeah. somehow i respond to that better so it, to me it's almost like it's the better version of spookies <laughs> i know it might be heresy uh to say because everybody's gonna say that, you're it's crazy a statement but yeah, yeah. More- but i would prefer this one over spooky so this is my spooky so i'm gonna say like yeah you got to see night train to terror and that to my surprise makes this uh freak show recommended and that means that you have to you watch it. You have to it. watch it. That's the rule. That's yeah. the rule. Mm. 
Wow, I never thought. Wow. And so there you go. So Merry Christmas to me. Uh, who knew, I just, I'm just so glad. Who knew we'd be referencing Spooky so much <laughs> on this show that it would become something. I'm just very happy. Spooky's is also a thing. You should go back and listen to that episode. Both Which one? Which one? Yeah. We did that one twice. Um, okay, so next week not we're gonna be. We're not gonna be watching anything. No. Nope. What are we gonna be doing? It's our best of 2021 episode. Right, oh yay! shit! Yay! The extravaganza. It is, That's our, right. it is our schools out episode. We're in rare form. We're usually a little <laughs> this, drunk. This is yeah. such a good episode. One year, it got deleted <laughs> <on purpose. laughs> because it was too good. Yeah. <laughs> The yep. lost episode. <laughs> so there you go. We're going to hit you up. Each one of us is going to do our five best and one worst movie of 2021. And we do not share our lists ahead of time. It is yeah. a surprise to all of us yes. on air. Yeah. So. I can't wait. This I'm excited. Like, I know. We always look this forward to always this. Good. Yeah. It's a party yeah. time. Yeah. Which means we've got one week to cram. Yeah, we're Damn. cramming for this final. Yeah. I'm watching like one, two things a day at least cramming yeah. for this final. Gotta cram. I right. might leave work early. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got movies to Guys, watch. I got movies to watch. <laughs> and they're all like two and a half hours long. Yeah, for some all of them. There's so many long movies this year. Yeah. Well, we uh, hope that you'll join us for that. We're looking forward to it and yeah. getting psyched. So uh, we hope Spend that you are too. That's right. And in the meantime, again, Merry Christmas. Thank you all. Bless Christmas. us, everyone. Mm. <laughs> I mean, you can't end on anything better than that. Yeah. <laughs> Satan blesses, Mr. Yeah. Satan blesses everyone. Mr. There Satan bless us, everyone. All right. Well, on that note, then the uh, basement is going dark. <laughs>